Hello Floss Tube. My name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and I'm here with my Floss Tube update number 231. This is a channel about cross stitch, uh, in case you're wondering. And uh, I'm gonna I have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff to cover. So we're gonna get right into it. So um I am uh, participating in WIPGO this year, and um, so I've been working on that. I have a few things that the, the baby sampler I finished last week. I, sh I showed you all, I was at my sister Naomi's house uh, for my update then, and, and so I showed you the finished baby sampler <laughs> after 25 years. Finished it. Um, and I, sh I talked about. Uh, the April Rabbit Rabbit, which I have not worked on because of many things, so I haven't worked on that at all. Uh, so it's still just got the one little half bunny, th two thirds of a bunny on it. I haven't done anything at all. And it's May, and I haven't even, I think I chose a fabric for the the May Rabbit Rabbit, but I, I haven't even thought about that yet. I'm getting behind now, my my <laughs> plans to do it and may is not going to be a, 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 a i don't know how much i'm going to get done on the rabbit rabbits um i'd like to finish april because it, it seems like it would be fairly simple i just haven't worked hard because i've been doing everything else and uh, so i'd i'd like to get a little bit more done on the april rabbit rabbit and start the may one for sure um but more on that later. So uh, I want to talk about, uh, today is my 10th day on um, uh, uh, Sleepy Hollow. And so I, I started this one um, from scratch, basically, uh, on the 20th. So this is how much I've done in 10 days. Um, I not finished quite finished with the this little uh, border I, I did it to start off with and then uh, I worked on the, the wording and that and then uh, one of the green colors there's two uh, here the for the grass so no I'm not quite finished because I have to you know we have to move the hoop and I wanted to uh, I've been working on this border today to finish it while we were filming our uh, our three sisters creative video this morning um, so there's a little uh, there's a, a little gap here for uh, I think a pumpkin goes here on the end and there'll be a little bit more of the one color of the grass but so I'm finished up to the the little gap basically and then um, of the the border, you know, goes up, excuse me, to the end over here as well. So, uh, so that's as far as I've gotten in 10 days. I'm, I'm going to stitch on it some more, uh, tonight to finish the, my 10 days. But that is Sleepy Hollow by Tiny Modernist. And it was this, uh, this second one right here. Uh, so yeah that was on um, that was my whip go number 10 10 days on sleepy hollow i have so much stuff here i haven't room to put anything um and that's on 28 count uh lugana whatever that i dyed myself yeah um and so when I finish that, I will have finished my goals for the month of April. Um, so the new numbers were called for May. This is my WIPGO board. So the new numbers are these here, 8, 13, and 14. Um, Jesse uh, uh, Marie called th uh, three numbers for the month of May because many people have uh, the, the middle spot, number 13, as a free space. So uh, she went ahead and called three numbers. Um, I do not have it as a free space. I have uh, something there. So um, 
So I have three projects for the month of May, as well as some other stuff, but, you know. But so number eight is Old Clipper Ship. And this one I, I worked on, you know, before on my ship mania for, for the month of May. So it's this one here. And this is an old, old, old pattern. But I have, like I said, I, I have like four uh, old, like tall ships, sailing ships. Uh, so I, I worked on the one, the Voyage of Discovery um, in, uh, I don't know what month it was, January? Mm, no, February. Yeah. Uh, and I did eight of my my 10 day goal uh, days. But so this is the second one, another one I should say, um, Old Clipper Ship. And um, I think it goes like this. <laughs> This is as far as I've gotten on this one. So this is my starting point for this month. And my goal is 10 days on this as well. And then um, my number 13 is Pandemic. And so this is very complicated. But I started um, basically in the middle, around right around here. And, and I've work, been working my way here. And originally, I had thought um, of using, like, various shades of blue um, to do, you know, all the different motifs and stuff. But then I, I got to a point and I thought, well, you know, some of it could theoretically be a different, you know, like a different animal or whatever as compared to all these sort of floral motifs or whatever. And, um, and so I didn't, um, do them all. So like, uh, yeah, anyway, so this is as far as I got. And I think I might maybe just do it all in this color. This was a, a DMC, like, I don't know, 8.30 or 9.30 or something like that. Um, I may just do it all in this color and, uh, and just do it all that way. But so, uh, so I have 10, the, the goal is again, 10 days on this. So that's, that's all I've gotten. And this is again, 28 count Lugana that I dyed myself. Let me see if I can make this a little more manageable. Mm. And then the other one, the other number I have is... Number 14, which is a Western, Western Biscorn you buy, Tiny Modernist. This one here. And this one was the first Biscorn you that I, that I uh, uh, tried. I haven't finished it yet, but this is, um, uh, I, I remember when I started it, 2018-ish, something like that. Um, I don't know if it has a date on here or not. But um, I know I was working on it when we did uh, Stitch Shenanigans. And uh, so because I was working on it while I was there. So um, this is a, a needle minder that um, there was a, a, a lady and her mother whose names I cannot remember, I'm sorry, but, um, they made these and, uh, and gave them to those of us that, that were, we were all sharing a table, uh, together. So anyway, so I've done the, the, uh, border on the front side here and most of the border on the, on the back. And then I didn't remember off the top of my head what all is on the, the back. I think. I think there's uh, some of these little rosette things, um, but then on the front there's more uh, the saguaro cactuses and uh, and the cow's heads. Yeah, yeah, you can see the, the little one of the little rosette things here on the back. So my goal for this one is to finish it. Um, I'm hoping I can do it pretty quickly. Um, considering that there's three this month, so I don't know. We'll see how that goes. 
But let me put these over here real quick. We can have less of a less of a mess over here. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff to go through. Anyway, so I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, so that is all uh, I the basic things I'm, I'm going through. But then because May is mania, traditionally, um, I have done various different things. I've never done the whole... Um, start something every day of May, in the month of May, I haven't done that version of mania. I've done different things. I've done whip, uh, whip manias before where I just, like, um, there was one year where I did one day on all of the whips that I had for the month of May or whatever. Um, I, you know, I did various different permutations of whip mania, of, of a whip mania, or I did the ship mania, where I worked a week on each of those four ships charts that I have. But I have been buying so many charts. And as a matter of fact, I have some that I ordered uh, just this past week um, that are have they've already been shipped. So I'm waiting. Hopefully I'll get them this coming week. Um, so, so I have so many charts. I can't help myself. But so, um, so this, uh, so in this coming month of May, I have a whole bunch of, of charts um, that I'm going to start. And I will talk about those in a minute. First of all, I want to talk about this bag. My, uh, as I, you know, I was house sitting for my sister. And um, as sort of a thank you uh, gift for that, she bought uh, this bag. She bought one for my older sister also because she, uh, you know, took them all to the airport and, and all that and, uh, and picked them up and everything. And so that was uh, a thank you for her. Uh, so hers is, um, is teal colored and has something on it. But, um, but so... The one she bought me has little red lobsters on it. And um, these uh, rope handles. And the zipper pull on this, this bag is a zipper. And this, this pocket on the outside. And as a zipper pull, it has a lobster. Yeah, so it's, it's really nice. Very heavy uh, canvas. So, in it, <laughs> I have um, what I'm thinking about doing. And I, I haven't chosen fabrics for all of these. Because um, I have a bunch of fabrics uh, that are just, that aren't, you know, like assigned to anything. And they're different sizes and all, all of that. So, I want to go through, um, I don't know if, if I'm going to do it today, tomorrow, I, sometime I have to sit down and sort of uh, look at all the charts that I'm going to start or as I start them, see if I can find a fabric that, you know, that will, uh, that is appropriate for them. That's the right color and the right size. I haven't gotten that far yet. I did go through and sort of uh, see what... Uh, threads I need. I didn't pull the DMC threads yet. I didn't pull any of the threads yet, but I did go through the, the list and see what I have and what I need and all that sort of thing. But so, um, so I'm planning on just working <laughs> using the Stephanie Schaffner method of, of new starts. Um, and that is doing like one strand, one length of, 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 uh, of thread. Uh, and calling that a new start, and we'll see uh, how that works out. But so I have some smaller charts, like this one here. Um, these are uh, Jabco buttons, um, but it's a very simple uh, little chart. 
and you just put these buttons in place there and the buttons are in this little kit here there's a the stocking and a, and a mouse and so these charts are actually um uh free with the purchase of the buttons so this is from the attic uh some time ago so there's that and there's this little kit that's kind of folded up it's a it's a bucilla kit i just folded it up to make it fit in this bag because it was one of those sticky back bags or whatever um so this little kit came with uh comes with the the some ada and the threads and all that and a needle um and i can't remember why i bought this but you know i thought mm, i might do that we'll see on that one i'm not sure and then this one was a little freebie uh that i picked up at the attic and i had showed the chart but so it's uh but uh it comes with uh, the th uh, threads and some fabric and some backing fabric. A thread, I should say. It's only it's a one color thing, but um, so it comes with a thread and there's a uh, if you can you can just see it underneath there, and this backing fabric. It, it, this this ribbon was just tied around it because it was folded up, you know. But um, so yeah, I don't. Know. <laughs> I'm gonna flash it. So um, I'd like to get that. I've just had it, you know, sitting around. So the little ones, um, and I showed this I think last week. Uh, so this is like only forty nine by fifty two. So so these little uh, uh, smaller charts, I you know, I may be able to to uh, get them done in a day or two or something like that. So. We shall see how those go. I'm going to stick them all in here. Because they're small. And um, and then this one, of course. Uh, oops, it's upside down. Uh, Mouse is Lucky Day. I think I showed this all last week also. Um, so these uh, smalls, um, like I said, I, 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 I want to start them all um, so that... That's not gonna fit in there. Um, just yeah, to get them started, and also, um, like I said, that the oh, all these charts that I bought lately, I'd like to start them and you know get going. Uh, oopsie. So this is a, a little owl uh, dimensions kit. Um, I want to say, who's the designer? Jennifer Nilsson. So, and this is a, a kit that comes with the uh, Ada and the sorted threads. And uh, I think it comes with a needle. Uh, pre sorted thread, 14 count, light blue Ada, needle, and instructions. And then um, a whole bunch of patterns that I bought lately. This this Country Cottage Needleworks, um, Fox, Swan, Jackrabbit, Raccoon. And actually, I one of the ones that I just ordered was the newest one, Ferret. Um, they're all part of this Country Cottage Needleworks thing. And also this uh, this little Santa. These are, you know, things are that I've talked about like uh, just recently. Um, this one and this one, uh, the the Spring Forest uh, scrapbook that um, Lindy Stitches and uh, what's your name, Janine McGowan of the Blue Flower collaborated on. This one. So I want us to do uh, at least one strand on uh, on each of these. This is, uh, I, th I talked about this last time, I think, the, the rabbit and the rose. Um, and of course, this one, a April Dolce de Mir. And uh, oops, this one, Peppermint, Peppermint Pals. I've had this one for a while. And, and this little, this sweet little good must I be. So Santa will come see me. So all of these I've had, uh, you know, I've, some of them I've had for a while. Some of them are new. And then also, um, 
uh, there's this one here. Oops. This uh, little ornament kind of. This one is uh, gnome for the holidays. And then, let's see. There's a ball. What's in there? And then this, uh, this one, Snowman's Treat. So this one, the, the snowman is designed by Caitlin Baird, B-A-E-R-G. And this one is by Don Frisk, who designed the, the little bunny uh, uh, scissor bob kit that's in my 300 subscriber giveaway today. So, but she uh, designed this also. So this is a magazine that, you know, I had been thinking about doing. So, yeah, that's that's um, on my list also. It's a very small uh, pattern. So um, I'm hoping to, to uh, get that started as well. So that's part of it. <laughs> and then, um, no. And then also, um, you know, my, my niece uh, had her senior recital um, a few days ago. That's why my, old, my younger sister was in Boston to go hear her. But she's graduating in, in May. And so uh, I had uh, I've thought about this uh, bookmark for her. And I, I have the, the quote that I'm going to use. It's a Ben Franklin quote and I and I always uh, say it wrong either write something worth reading no or do something worth writing it's what I think it's what it's how it goes something like that but um, but yeah so so I'm still formulating exactly what that's gonna look like so hopefully I can get it done quickly and then um, another thing I want to start is uh, a chart that I've that I've had for a while because um, my older sister asked me to to do this for her. So she uh, it's partly kitted, kitted up. One of the colors, Buckeye Scarlet, that is called for uh, on this. Um, they haven't had it at the at the attic. I haven't looked online to see if it's available online, but anyway. Um, but if I can't get it, if we can't get it, we just may use just a different red for the, you know. But it's so cute. So I've had it for a while. I've had the the, the other colors of of uh, fancy philosopher called for, and then the rest of it is is DMC that's called for. So we'll see what what other color I use. But so I, I'd like to get that started this month as well. And then. Uh, and then the other thing I would like to work on is uh, uh, this one. This is a Lindy Stitches uh, chart. It calls called for thread works as I ordered ordered these uh, from One Two Three Stitch, I think it was. And uh, this is Wandering Sheep by Lindy Stitches. It says, um, "I was a wandering sheep." I once preferred to roam, but now I love my father's voice. I love, I love his home. It's so cute. And I think um, that it's just this big black sheep <laughs> that's going to take a, a long time. The rest of it is just words and this little border here. You know, these shouldn't take that, that long. Um, but I'd like to at least get it started. So... I haven't even counted how many charts there are for the month of May, but, you know. So, anyway, so I think those are all the charts that I'm going to stitch. Um, and then I have some uh, sort of uh, thank you happy mail um, that, that uh, we received. One of our viewers, uh, she has... has uh, watched our three sisters creative videos but she has also uh, watched uh, uh, my videos here um, but so she very generously sent my sisters and I each uh, a, a little uh, embroidered pillow so this one here has bunnies 
carrot and Easter eggs in a basket. And then my uh, sister's, uh, my younger sister, I think, has also a, a bigger bunny and some eggs. And then my older sister has a dog on her pillow. So she, uh, Yolanda, finished uh, these pillows for us each. And then she also sent some of the things her, I think it's her grandson, one of her grandsons, um, has this... Uh, this uh, business, Josiah's Baked Goods, and these are really good. Um, they he she sent us um, some bizcochitos and these little rice krispie treats and a little uh, loaf, and these are all made. Uh, there are I think I guess available in in New Mexico in uh, Las Lunas and Rio Doso for those of you who live in that area. And then she also sent some other stuff. Uh, some charms and some beads and glue and, and a set of pinking shears, which are wonderful. So, yes, thank you, Yolanda. Thank you very much for all the stuff. Um, and then, um, so I have a whole bunch of haul, a bunch of stuff that I bought at various points. <laughs> so, I, I uh, got a bunch of stuff from the Target Dollar Spot um, for all my finishing that I don't never do. But, you know, I keep having I, great ideas. But so there's this little uh, toolbox thing. And then, uh, let's see if I can get these. So I'm not make too much of a mess. And then I have these, these little, these are little, um, kind of like wreath forms, you know. It comes with this little wire uh, thing. And then, and then these, um, some little, you know, paper leaves or whatever. And so I, I want to see if there's a way to use this in finishing something. Um, so this one is, has... This one has a uh, uh, little beads, I think, that you can put. Yeah, there's a little pack of. I don't know if you can see them here. A pack of beads here that you can put around there, as well as the, you know, little flower shapes or whatever. So, um, I, I I feel like I I like like I could do some kind of finishing project with those, and then also uh, this. Uh, little if you look at this picture here it's a hinged chalkboard uh thing here these little these little things come out i don't want to unwrap it but they open up and you know the chalkboard inside so i i think also that can be uh i keep buying finishing stuff as if i'm gonna finish stuff but you know you can never you know i just have these you know ideas for how, how to do things so but then also, um, this um, little uh, drawer thing and these were, uh, I bought a couple weeks ago actually um, at, uh, at Target. Um, I just hadn't shown them because I was, you know, at my sister's house and all that. There's a, another chalkboard frame. This one, these all have, uh, they come with hangers on them, the little uh, folding chalkboard and this thing. And there's a, a little uh, wooden easel. There. And then two uh, bigger chalkboard things. Um, let's see if I can pull these out without knocking everything over. This one is really huge. It has a, a little hanger things to go this way. Um, but you can easily, just as easily like set it, you know, on an easel or something like that. And again, it's, it's a chalkboard basically, but, um, you know. 
You can finish it however you want. You can do some chalkboard design around the edges or whatever. Um, and then this one, this has a, a little string hanger, but this little sign. And so I'm thinking of, you know, you could, you could put something else in here, you know, on this uh, background. So let me get these out of the way here. Um, so there's that stuff. Um, and then today, um, some friends of ours from school, uh, Vicki and Mary Beth and, um, uh, two other, uh, two other ladies, um, that we went to school with, excuse me, just one minute, I'm trying not to make a mess here, um, met us today, they came into town today, and so, uh, we all met up at the attic, and, um, and so before we went to the attic, my sister and I stopped at Hobby Lobby. And um, because I have been I have been thinking for a while about making um, thread drops. Um, and for one of the giveaways, uh, I was, uh, if, uh, if you recall, I was giving away a partially used uh, kit that I had worked on and then stop working on. Um, but so it came with a bunch of threads and I had separated the threads, but they were just kind of in a little bundle. And so I made some thread drops just to put them on, uh, you know, to sort them out. And, and I had labeled them on the back, like what color they were or whatever. So I made the, a bunch of these little, little thread drops and I just hole punched them. And uh, these are like on, just on cardstock. And so this picture is my cat Puck when he was a baby. This is one of my favorite, absolutely favorite pictures. I have this as the wallpaper on my computer, but he's just so cute. So um, I had originally, when I was first thinking about making thread drops, I had played around with this idea and I made a, a slightly bigger uh, picture of Puck here. Um, so, uh, so when I was making these th little thread drops for this kit, um, I didn't realize these were that much smaller. I was, you know, had a different page of them or whatever. So I didn't realize they were that much smaller because I meant to make them this size, <laughs> but they came out, you know, the, the, the thing that I printed came out this size. But anyway, so, um, I watched, um, uh, a couple of tutorials on, uh, on making thread drops and, um, I'm going to see, try to see, you know, all the, all the time that I'm going to have, um, see how that works out. So, um, so I bought, um, at Hobby Lobby, I bought just the, the, the one, you know, big hole punch to, to put the thread through. And I have not yet, um, they didn't have anything that I wanted, uh, for the, for a larger, uh, like either like an oval shape or a a gift tag kind of shape, you know, whatever. They didn't have that. They were, you know, uh, uh, they didn't have the right shape that I wanted. Um, so I'm still going to keep looking. This was just one that I bought at, um, it's not the Fisker's brand. You know, it's just, a, I don't know, some other brand. Um, but so I, I'm going to see what, what they have. But I also just bought some um, some scrapbook paper. Um, and there's uh, another one here. Um, to see, like, the, the tutorial that I watched, um, uh, one girl used a glue stick and the other one just used spray glue. And they uh, glued these onto, uh, uh, like, poster board. You know, you, like you could buy at Hobby Lobby or Walmart or whatever. Um, and then uh, used a, a, a die cut to cut the um, the shape of the thread drop like, like this. So I bought these at the attic today. But, um, you know, so like, like you could uh, cut out a shape like this 
And then that hole, that one hole punch that I bought cuts out this, you know, around this round shape like this. And then um, you can use a hole punch to, to punch this the uh, shape to go like on a ring like this. So, um, so this, like say this oval shape, if, if that was the, the, the shape of cutter, that I found, you know, you could you could cut this shape out of a piece of, of paper like this, you know, whatever thing you wanted, you know, and then cut out that 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 shape there. So I'm gonna kind of uh, experiment with that a little bit. That's my my shiny things project, um, and then I also bought. Uh, some more project bags because because I was there <laughs> and they had them and because I'm planning on you know starting 30,000 projects but then also um, I had gone through my my uh, fancy floss uh, list for all these uh, projects that I have and I bought some of the th threads. There were a few that they didn't have uh, that I might look into buying online or whatever. Um, we'll see. I may be able to just, you know, start things w without those colors so far. But these are Gentle Arts colors. Um, I'm not going to read them all because I bought so many. But they're... Uh, there. Those Gentle Arts colors. And then um, I bought some Weeks Dye Works colors. Uh, just want to grab a bunch of them. There's some. And there's some more. Very pretty. <clears throat> and then several uh, classic color works colors. There's some there. And some of these I had like, you know, the tail end of a of a skein, like this uh, 12 grain. I had some, but it was just like a you know. Uh, partial uh, strand because I'd used it for something. And then these colors. Yeah, so this is licorice red. Zach Black is this, this uh, grayish color. It's a dark gray. And uh, chili pepper, this red. Yeah. So anyway, so I bought all of those today. And so that that's all the, the haul that I had. But I wanted to now is the uh, giveaway part of the program um, that you all have been waiting for. Uh, so I went through and uh, did all my. Uh, excuse me, uh, went through all the comments that I had from uh, two weeks ago when I uh, said what uh, words to use for the uh, items for the giveaway. So what I'm going to do is um, is put all the, uh, I had put all the names on my uh, roulette wheel, um, decision roulette uh, wheel thing and if I can get it to come up and so uh, I'm gonna spin to see the winner and then remove that winner from the the uh, subsequent list of, you know so the first one I'm gonna go ahead and do the first one is the 300 subscribers uh, scissor fob kit for which I asked you to say the word bunny and I had one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, I believe, um, uh, people who were interested in that. Yeah. So I've got the, the names here. And again, this is the, the little uh, scissor fob kit along with, oopsie, with uh, the threads and a pair of scissors. And it comes with the kit and everything and this lovely project bag. So for the bunny, I'm going to go ahead and spin now. Here is, I'm going to spin. Sorry, I'm going to... Turn the sound down. Sorry. Um, it goes to oh, Edith McClanahan, looks like. Yes, Edith McClanahan. Congratulations. So Edith is the winner of the 300 subscriber scissor fob kit. Edith McClanahan. And let me just look at this real quick. Okay. So, congratulations, Edith. I've got a mess here going on here. Okay. So, the next one is the Happy Home Kit. And that this this was the kit that I had um, already started. The uh, this ingredients for happy home, for happy home ingredients. Um, and so, um, like I said, this one I I bought a project bag for it, and I uh, I sorted the the threads on these lovely baby puck. Uh, thread drops so they're here with the with the colors on the back and they're a little bit kinky because they were uh, you know knotted up or whatever but um, but this also comes with the instructions and a needle and uh, this again this this fabric that has a little uh, binding stitched on the on the edges and then you just stitch the, the pointy shape and it comes with the the metal hanger thing as well. <clears throat> so this one, you were to say the word home. I don't want to make a pile here. So to say the word home and it looks like um, there were three names yeah and so here we go we're gonna spin we're gonna spin there it goes and the winner is Looks like M. Hinton. Oops. You can see that. M. Hinton. M. Hinton is the winner of that one. Okay. And just one second. Okay, so M. Hinton is the Happy Home Kit winner, and the next one is the Cat Bundle, and that is the there's four four uh, booklets of cat charts. And I asked to say you say the word cat. 
Okay. And uh, let me ed ed edit this a little bit so that I don't have a... Uh... Okay. All right, so this is the cat bundle. And looks like the winner is going to be... Christine Sylvester. Christine Sylvester. Christine is the winner of the cat bundle. Yay. Okay. And the next one is the needlework booklet. Okay. And, um... And since, uh, let me take Edith McClanahan out of there. So uh, this is between Yolanda Serna and Hildy Johnson, yeah, for the needlework booklet. Looks like. It's going to be Yolanda Serna. Yolanda Serna. Thank you. Needlework booklet. Yolanda. Okay. And then the uh, Disney Poo booklet. Hold on one second. Make sure. Yeah. Oh. Okay. The Pooh booklet. Let me go ahead and edit this a little bit. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it looks like because of the elimination, there's just two people. Um, Chris Cook and Hildy Johnson. Yeah. And this is the poo booklet. And looks like other winners are gonna be Hildy Johnson, looks like. Yes, Hildy Johnson wins the poo booklet. Okay. And then that leaves well, that leaves, uh, hold on one second. Okay. So, one more second. Um, so the next one is the The Castle Sampler. Uh, this was the one by. Uh, oh, sorry. There's a. This is the needlework booklet. That Yolanda one and the. Poo booklet that Hildy Johnson won, and now we're at the Castle Sampler, and this is between. There's three people. Let me make sure. Okay. All right, there's people here. We're going to spin that. Oh, Glowing Stitches is the winner of that one. Glow in Stitches. Is the winner of the castle sampler. Okay. And um, for the pair of irises, um, 
the two Irish charts because everybody else that was uh, in the running for that won something else. Um, the only person left was Char J57. So by default, she wins this Irish, uh, Irish pair of charts. Um, the other, uh, Christine, Edith McClanahan, and Hilda Johnson, all went one uh, something else also. So that by elimination, there's only one name left for the irises. So you, uh, Char, J57, you win the, the iris bundle. Yay! Thank you all very much for participating in that. And, uh, just, um, my email address will be in the, the, uh, down below section and just, uh, email me, um, fanagray at gmail.com and, uh, let me know, uh, your mailing address. Um, and your real name, if your if your uh, name is just a handle on, on online, um, let me know your your online handle and your real name, so I can mail your your uh, winning items to you. I think that is everything. I've got a giant mess around me. <laughs> um, I think that's that's all I have. So I'm hoping then for the month of May, I have all those the those three Whipco uh, charts, and then I'm hoping to do you know some kind of mania business. I have a whole pile of of uh, charts to to uh, to at least start just for fun, you know. Um, I don't know how many I'll do, how many I'll get to, whatever. Uh, I, I would like to start the May Rabbit Rabbit chart. That's that I didn't I didn't show that because I don't I don't have it handy. Um, but uh, and I'd like to work on the the April Rabbit Rabbit also. So uh, yeah, I yeah you know the month of May. I'm all I'm all. Uh, busy you know i've got my my chart filled in for me but anyway so um i think that's it um and i will uh see you next week um so may starts tomorrow basically and um and we'll see what happens <laughs> in the next month and the next week um i should uh I'll see you all uh, next Saturday, which is uh, the day before. Mother's Day is uh, a week from tomorrow. So tomorrow is May 1st. Mother's Day is May 8th. So uh, I don't know what's going going on, but um, I want to do... I, I, I have a chart called Mother um, that, that's pretty simple. I, I didn't put it in my, in my new starts, but I think I will... Uh, add that uh, and work on that maybe on the 8th um, but otherwise um, congratulations to the winners thank you for helping me to hit 300 subscribers thank you to Yolanda for uh, the the lovely gifts and the the baked goods from uh, Josiah's baked goods they were very good um, and thank you to uh, my friends from uh, high school that came to to meet uh, my sister and me at the attic and just oh and you know thank you to Naomi for the for the lovely bag from Boston and uh, just all oh, you know all all the things all the good things so I will see you all next week next Saturday and until then you know happy stitching bye